In this episode, we are going to examine cost behavior within cost volume profit analysis. When managers are making decisions, cost volume profit helps analyze costs based on behavior. Cost volume profit analysis is used to answer questions such as, what sales volume is needed to earn a target income? What is the change in income if selling prices decline and sales volume increases? How much does income increase if we install a new machine to reduce labor costs? Will income change if we change the sales mix of our products or services? In order to evaluate and answer these questions, we need to understand cost behavior. So let's look at fixed costs first. If we were to take all of a company's costs and reorganize them instead of by their type, reorganize them by the behavior. Total fixed cost would be the total costs that remain unchanged when activity changes. For example, rent expense. Rent expense is a fixed cost because regardless of the level of activity, i.e. regardless of the number of units produced, regardless of how many units are sold, the factory rent expense will remain the same. On a per unit basis, however, fixed unit costs will decline as activity increases. The average rent cost per unit decreases with more units produced. If we were to reorganize all the company's costs, some of their costs would be variable costs. Total variable costs change when the activity changes. For example, total material costs are variable costs. Total material costs increase as the number of units produced increases. However, on a per unit basis, variable costs do not change as activity increases. Material costs per unit do not change, regardless of how many units are produced. The ver variable cost per unit for materials is the same. Here is a summary of variable and fixed cost behavior. Variable costs in total change as the activity level changes, but on a per unit basis, variable costs stay the same. Fixed costs in total remain the same even when activity level changes. On a per unit basis, fixed costs decrease as an activity level increases. Some costs, however, are mixed. There are some costs that we cannot classify solely as fixed. We can class, not classify them solely as variable either. They have mixed elements to them. Mixed costs contain a fixed portion that is incurred even when the facility is unused and a variable portion that increases with usage. For example, a monthly electric utility charge. Within that utility charge is a fixed service fee. In addition to that fixed service fee, the utility charge increases per kilowatt hour of electricity used. Some costs are stepwise. In other words, they stay constant within a relevant range or a narrow level of activity. But once you leave that level of activity, the cost will change. For example, rent expense. Previously, we discussed rent expense as a fixed cost. And as long as we stay within a certain level of production, the rent cost for the facility will remain the same. However, at some point, if we continue to produce more and more, we're going to need another rent of a facility. So our rent overall will increase, causing us to step up to a higher level of cost. 